from from my perspective, I think there's only essentially like four arguments for Bitcoin maximalism. One is sort of economic, right? It's the best money. You can look at the network, right? It's the most decentralized by some sort of metric. Uh, you can look at the launch, right? There are conditions for Bitcoin that can't repeat again. Bitcoin is really the only system in which there is no majority that can collude to sort of rescind your right. Satoshi's code, if you try to run it today, it's slow, it's inefficient, it has a bunch of bugs, but it still syncs with the blockchain up until today. So the consensus parameters of the Genesis block are still compatible with the consensus parameters of the last block that we just had. This is an enormous point of distinction between uh, Bitcoin and the other uh, cryptos. Well, I shouldn't say the other cryptos, between Bitcoin and the unregistered security industry that calls itself digital currencies, is that the consensus parameters in all of these altcoins are trivial to change. And, and they take pride in the fact that they change them because they don't even see the value in immutability. Uh, if you look at the Bitcoin list of rights, so you have the right to a known money supply, you have the right to a predictable issuance, you have the right to compete to that issuance. And then you sort of look at the other cryptocurrencies and say, okay, do they offer irrevocable rights of money? No. Do they offer the right to a dissent? No. Uh, and do they offer the right to a known money supply, or predictable issuance, and for you to compete to that, for that issuance? Uh, I think also no. If you have a choice to join a system where you know the money supply, you know the issuance, you know that you can compete for it if you want, or you know there there might be a cost, but you can. You know, are you going to join that system, or are you going to join a system where you don't have the right to know the money supply, you don't have the right to the issuance? That is also subject to political change, right? The money supply and the issuance and your ability to compete for that issuance might also be subject to political change. This is why you know there's there's a very different quality of the money that goes into Bitcoin and goes into shitcoins with Bitcoin. You know, you see serious investors and serious institutional money coming in with coins. You have uh, people who are gambling, essentially, and they're looking to make a quick buck. And, you know, you don't have people doing proper due diligence. And, uh,